It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. The jury in his defamation case has ordered Donald Trump to pay writer E. Jean Carroll $83.3 million. And uh, Trump is a billionaire, so obviously he immediately hit up your grandma for five bucks. <laughs> they, they ordered Trump to pay $83 million. That's how unlikable he is. For perspective, O.J. Simpson only had to pay $33 million for a double murder. <laughs> He didn't even do it. Oh, uh, okay, well. <laughs> this, tr <laughs> this trial must have driven Trump crazy. The judge kept telling him to shut up. The jury made him pay triple what the victim asked for. Even the courtroom sketch artist made him look, <laughs> made, made him look like that lady who got her face ripped off by a monkey. <laughs> The only way this could have gone worse for Trump is if they took away his businesses, which is, of course, what happens in next week's trial. After Ron DeSantis endorsed Donald Trump, he called DeSantis a really terrific person and promised to stop calling him Ron DeSanctimonious. <laughs> well, it's like a wise man once said. You can be the most worthless Republican in America, but if you kiss the ring, he'll say you're wonderful. Well... <laughs> After the New Hampshire primary, Nikki Haley attacked Donald Trump and called out his, quote, senior moments, which made Trump so angry he almost ripped off the safety rails on his toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Haley also called Trump totally unhinged and called for him to take a mental competency test. And here's some footage of Trump trying to buzz in with his answers. Ding, 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 ding. Pshin, <laughs> poom. See, he's fine. Hasn't lost a step. <laughs> Trump did have a slight stumble this week while talking about banks, and he introduced an interesting new term called debank. We're also going to place strong protections to stop banks and regulators from trying to debank you. They want to debank you, and we're going to debank. I don't know what the hell debank means, <laughs> but he might have to take deambulance to see the doctor. <laughs> President Biden is planning to send the director of the CIA to broker a deal between Israel and Hamas because no one eases tensions in the Middle East quite like the CIA. <laughs> the CIA is like the Draymond Green of peaceful solutions. <laughs> a new report shows that since the abortion ban took effect in Texas, the number of teenagers in the state giving birth rose for the first time in 15 years, which is terrible news for Texas, but great news for my new store, Michael Che's maternity prom dresses. <laughs> <laughs> I like this crowd. Yeah. <laughs> Lily Gladstone is the first Native American woman to be nominated for Best Actress. That's right. It's a historic moment her fellow nominees are calling, please don't let us win. <laughs> Gladstone's nomination comes after several Native American actors were snubbed in the past, including Johnny Depp in Lone Ranger. <laughs> the Japanese movie Godzilla Minus One received a surprise Oscar nomination for visual effects. Also receiving nominations, the Godzilla prequel Oppenheimer. <laughs> Sick tracks. Yep. Spirit Airlines shares have fallen 58% after a federal judge blocked a merger with JetBlue. So now the only way Spirit and JetBlue will merge is midair. <laughs> Oscar nominations were announced on Tuesday, and many critics have been breaking down the first-time nominees and surprise snubs. Here to comment is a guy named Ethan. Hey! Hey, everyone. Hey, Colin. Thanks so much for having me. I'm Ethan. Hey. Hi, Ethan. So do you work for the Oscars or something? No, I could. But I actually started my own award show for movies that really amused me. 
Ethan. And I'm excited to announce this year's nominees for Best Performance That Reminded Ethan, Me, of Moments From Ethan's My Past. The nominees are Bradley Cooper Marrying a Woman, Maestro, Been There. Paul Giamatti's Eye Condition, The Holdovers, Been There. And finally, The Chicken's Building a Fort, Chicken Run, Daughter the Nugget. I ain't no chicken, but I've been there. <laughs> You've been there? I'm sorry. I, that award doesn't make sense. I know, I know. There are some serious snubs. I'm so offended. <laughs> Wait, you're offended. Don't you choose who gets nominated at the Ethans? Yeah, and it's a real problem. The lack of diversity. Can you believe this, Colin? The Academy is 100% Asian. <laughs> That's why I'm asking everyone here tonight to donate to the hashtag EthansSoAsian. <laughs> I'm sorry. You want people to donate to what? And who is in the Academy for the Ethans? Well, I'll show you. Here's a photo from the Ethan Academy's last meeting. <laughs> is that your baby? What? No, I'm only 15. <laughs> I don't believe you. Well, fine. I was born on Leap Day, so I'm actually 60. Okay. okay. Asian don't raisin. <laughs> right, Colin? I <laughs> but, uh, anyway, what what do a lot of the Ethan award, do a lot of the Ethan awards at least go to Asian people? No, I get too <laughs> jealous when any of them win anything. <laughs> it's a real problem. Okay, yeah, that's really too bad. But the Ethans have a new category this year. Super exciting. Ethan, I will be handing out the award for movie moment that made Ethan say, "Okay, wait, what? Nice." <laughs> The nominees are the dance scene, Barbie, the penis dance scene, Saltburn, and finally, the digital artist that created Flounder for reminding me of my ex, rest in peace, The Little Mermaid. I'm sorry, I don't think I understand that category either. <laughs> How's that any different from the Oscars, Colin? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Ethan. It's time for our In Memoriam segment. What? Okay. <laughs> that was blank. I don't know anyone who died this year. <laughs> Another blessed year for Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, I am so honored to be accepting an Ethan this year. May I, Colin? I guess so, sure. Oh. This is Ethan's first win in the 700th nomination. Oh. Wow, thank you so much. But I want to thank me for believing in me. And I want to say to myself in front of all you beautiful people, go girl with your bad self. You did that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that was Nisi Nash's speech from the Emmys this year. What? No, this is my lived experience. Finally, I accept this award on behalf of all black women. <laughs> Ethan from the Ethans, everyone. My last oh. name is Oscars. It's Oscars. <laughs> It's been rumored that Disney World has plans to install a maternity ward inside the Magic Kingdom so guests can give birth at the park. The only catch is Goofy gets to watch. It's <laughs> not a deal breaker, is it? A man in California was arrested after he went to a Planet Fitness, took off his clothes, and threatened people with a knife. Which, to be fair, is the only way Planet Fitness lets you cancel your membership. <laughs> The former president of the Spanish Soccer Federation is being charged with sexual assault for kissing a female player without her consent after the Women's World Cup. If convicted, she will be allowed one free kick. <laughs> that was a nice little word joke. A 99-year-old woman in Canada broke three world swimming records for her age class in the same day, until finally someone noticed she had fallen in. <laughs> Two British museums announced that they will return gold and silver artifacts that were looted 150 years ago from Ghana. Unfortunately, there's still nothing they can do about the people looted from Ghana. <laughs> there is growing in 
interest in man camps <laughs> where men try to reclaim their masculinity by attending military-style boot camps and getting berated by drill instructors. But then at night, big gay orgy. <laughs> I tell you, I like this guy. <laughs> A plane in Brazil was stranded on the runway after the plane's wing was covered by a swarm of bees. Bees who worked together to spell out, wing is missing screws. <laughs> well, with the election less than a year away, 2024 is shaping up to be a big year. Here to give us a sense of what's in store is the great British psychic, tarot card reader, Jan Janby. <laughs> SNL, or was it in the cards? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you read tarot cards. Oh, yes, Michael. Yeah. I'm a clairvoyant, ghost noticer, and conjurer of spirits, but mainly I just flip cards. Careful, Fortune? Yeah, why not? So how's the election gonna go? Oh, yes, yes. Great spirit, tell no lies. Election reflection, the cards decide. Kiss the top card, kiss it. Kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. Uh, what? What do you see? Uh, so here we have the newsman card. There's a newsman card? Yes, I think this is about you, Michael. Let's see. And the hourglass. That could be time. That could be an hour of sorts. Well, I am taping an hour for my new stand-up special. Yes, yes! Yeah. The cards predict this special will be your... Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. <laughs> Michael. Michael, it's the toilet. The toilet? Yes, yes. Something going down, something being flushed. Perhaps a career or ratings or money or a career again. Does any of this sound spot on? Wait, hold on. Are you saying that I'm going to lose my career this year? Um, not necessarily, but... Okay, well, what else could the cards tell us? Anything about the Super Bowl? Oh! Oh, yes, who will win the dreaded American pigskin? Oink go the cards, pig go the skin. Kiss the top card, lick it. <laughs> lick it. <laughs> oh, what a strange little tongue you have. All right. All right, let's see. Oh dear, oh dear indeed. I'm seeing the newsman again. The cards aren't done with you. And then the river of coins, huh? So the newsman is giving a great, great deal of money, but to whom? Huh, only fans. <laughs> Michael, the newsman financially supporting OnlyFans? I mean, I wish it didn't make sense. <laughs> I am telling you the cards want to emphasize these OnlyFans have bankrupted the newsman. It's that bad? Come on. Wait. Oh, wait. The cards are speaking to me. They're still speaking to me. All right. The newsman again. <laughs> the beautiful woman. And now I'm seeing a wedding altar. Oh, okay. That sounds good, right? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, the catfish. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the end, the newsman connects what? to a beautiful woman who turns out to be a catfish. <laughs> but who? Who oh, is no. the catfish? <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad, but I've been having a blast. Jan Janby, everybody. We got to talk. Go, Jan! Go, Jan! We did that, man. I'm Michael Trey. Colin Jones, good night. <laughs>